In an extremely interesting setup of events, Google unveiled the highly anticipated Nexus 9 tablet yesterday, which was immediately followed by Apple's iPad event, where the company's newest flagship the iPad Air 2 got announced. Google and Apple have been constantly at each other's throats while tablets are concerned, but the almost concomitant unveiling of the two models just takes things to a whole different level. Well, let's see how the two devices stack up against one another. First let's compare the design of the tablets. It's quite obvious that both Google and HTC have been putting a heavy emphasis on design when the Nexus 9 is concerned. As for the iPad Air 2, it follows the lines of its predecessor, coming with the same aluminum unibody. However, the product has been slimmed down to extremes and Apple claims the tablet is currently the thinnest tablet to arrive on the market. In the design department, you can spot HTC's interference with the way the Nexus 9 was built, as the tablet comes with the characteristic predominant brushed aluminum finish and takes advantage of front-facing boom sound speakers up in the front. As for Apple, the company has adorned its Touch ID home button at the bottom, which is as Cupertino itself recognized the most asked for feature requested by customers. Now take a look at the display of the tablets. Moving on to the display. The Apple iPad Air 2 has a slightly larger 9.7-inch display, while the Nexus 9 comes in with 8.9-inch screen. Both tablets take advantage of an IPS LCD display that delivers 2048x1536 pixel resolution. Taking into account that form factors vary between the two models, pixel density will too. The Nexus has 288 ppi while the iPad has 264 ppi so in theory images should look sharper on the Google tablet. However, some real-life tests will have to be performed before any definitive conclusions can be drawn. The Apple iPad Air has anti-reflective coating that acts like a shield, preventing light to get reflected by the screen. But the Nexus 9 has some perks of its own in the screen department, as it employs Corning Gorilla Glass 3 so you can expect the tablet to be immune to scratches and such. You can even let your cat play with it. It looks like the competition between the two tablets is pretty tight, but the iPad Air 2 stands out due to its extreme thinness which entails portability and ease of use. Performance The Nexus 9 and iPad Air 2 have two very different chips on the inside but are both 64-bit platforms. The Google tablet takes advantage of the NVIDIA Tegra K1 dual-core chipset based on a Denver CPU clocked at 2.3 GHz working with Kepler DX1 GPU with 192 shader cores. In the Apple camp, the iPad Air 2 has a dual-core A8X chipset clocked at 1.4 GHz on the inside, which is based on ARM V8 architecture. This is said to be an improved version of the 64-bit A8 chip found in the iPhone 6 so it should be interesting to see how the Nexus 9 CPU performs against the architecture found in the iPad Air 2. In the memory department, the two tablets offer quite similar stories. But while the Nexus 9 adds 2 GB of RAM on board, the iPad Air 2 relies on just 1 GB of RAM, which is a little disappointing for a flagship model. However, Apple fans might argue the highly optimized iOS doesn't need more. Software and Interface the battle between Android and iOS has been going on forever and is a never-ending debate. However, Android 5.0 Lollipop and its material design flavor are certainly something else. The OS brings multiple improvements including system and battery life optimization, new notifications features, but most importantly a more intuitive and seamless way to navigate throughout the myriad of possibilities offered by the tablet. The iPad Air 2 also takes advantage of the latest software, touting the recently launched iOS 8 platform. The tablet will get the new iOS 8.1 update, which should bring back the camera roll and the iCloud photo library. Apart from that, one can't help but notice that the differences between iOS and Android are starting to blur more and more and somehow both OSES have sort of grown on top of each other, being influenced by the presence of the other. Pricing and Impressions So far, the Nexus tablet lineup has been known to be the bearer of good specs and affordable price tags. Well, the Nexus 9 turns out to be the most expensive so far. 
The tablet will be marketed in three models including with 16 GB for $399-312 euros, with 32 GB for $479-375 euros and 32 GB with LTE for $599-468 euros. A disadvantage here is that Google doesn't offer too much in terms of internal storage, a fact that might not agree with lots of users. On the other hand, the tablet comes with a really powerful chip, sports an optimal form factor and looks really premium. As for the iPad Air 2, things get a little more expensive. The 16 GB Wi-Fi model sells for $499-389 euros while the 16 GB Wi-Fi model with cellular will set customers back with a hefty $629-491 euros. Note that Apple offers 6 4 GB or 1 2 8 GB storage options, as well. The battle between the two tablets is quite intense, and in the end it all boils down to preferences, and funds at your disposal. However, it appears to us the Nexus 9 manages to leverage productivity, looks and pricing better than the